Hello and welcome to WSTC News. I'm Justice McCammick. And I'm Jaden Starks. This student-operated newscast is brought to you by the Beaumont Harrison Career Center in St. Clairsville High School. First up today, the countdown is on for Turkey Day, which means family, football, and of course food, and lots of it. But let's not forget how this holiday got started. Here are five things to know about Thanksgiving. One, the first Thanksgiving is believed to have happened in the autumn of 1621. Fifty pilgrims and ninety Indians celebrated together, and the feast lasted three days. Two, Thanksgiving was almost a fast, not a feast. The early settlers gave thanks by praying and abstaining from food, which is what they planned on doing to celebrate their first harvest. That is, until others joined them. Three, Turkey, mashed potatoes, and pumpkin pie were not on the menu at the first Thanksgiving. Historians say the main course was likely deer or antelope, duck, or fish. Four, Americans currently eat about 46 million turkeys each Thanksgiving and about the same number of pumpkin pies, too. And five, Thanksgiving became an official national holiday in 1941. And of course, Thanksgiving is also a time to give thanks. Next, this Thursday, November 23rd, the, wor the world-renowned Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade kicks off the holiday season with its 91st march down the streets of New York City. Matt Lauer, Savannah Guthrie, and Al Roker of NBC's Today will anchor the broadcast. The procession will feature a star-studded cast who will celebrate the holiday with America, including 98 Degrees, Lauren Elena, Cam, Sabrina Carpenter, Andre Day, and the Common, Sarah Evans, Jimmy Fallon, and the Roots, Flo Rida, Goo Goo Dolls, Cat Graham, Andy Grammer, and many more. In addition, a host of stars will be showcased dancing in the streets at various locations across the country in anticipation of the parade as part of the NBC's opening broadcast. Featured stars will include Harry Connick Jr., Whoopi Goldberg, Steve Harvey, and others. You can tune into this year's excitement on Thursday beginning at 9 a.m. Students across the state will be enjoying a few days off to celebrate Thanksgiving. How much turkey will you eat? How much shopping will you be doing? Here's WSTC reporter Craig Fukowski with the story. Thanksgiving break starts tomorrow and it's common to think of two popular days as we near the end of the week. Turkey Day and you guessed it, Black Friday. Preparing for Black Friday at Hallmark is pretty simple. We've just been handing out different promotional pages and brochures to bring people in for Black Friday and the entire store is going to be 20% off when you buy a $9 tote which to me seems like a pretty good deal and there's going to be other things coming and going as the night goes on. My family's not involved. As a parent my family always comes first. That's just another day in the year. If we wanted to go out together and go shopping we could but I'm not going to. I can find deals at another time. It's just safer this way. I'm just gonna spend the day with my family regardless. Many retail chains will open a day early. For example, Walmart's deals will begin at 6 p.m. Thursday night. We actually don't partake in the Black Friday festivities because I'm a huge online shopper, so it doesn't really affect my family as much. Um, Black Friday has really changed since I had Rory. We're really intense about it. We um, get up at midnight and we have babysitters come over to the house and we go and hit all the toy stores so that we can have our presents ready for Rory and her brother. Last year, Black Friday sales were an estimated $3 billion profit, and stores plan to receive a lot more this year. This has been Craig Frakowski with WSTC News. Back to you. Don't change that dial. Stay tuned for more WSTC News for a special student assembly, some holiday cooking tips, and WSTC sports. You won't want to miss it. We'll be right back. Carry on and take advantage of the opportunities offered at the Belmont and Harrison Career Centers and learn a trade while earning your high school diploma at the same time. Check out interesting and challenging programs right now. Business, skilled trades, technical, mechanical, or personal services. You'll find Belmont and Harrison Career Centers facilities and programs truly amazing. See your guidance counselor or call the Belmont and Harrison Career Centers today at 740-695-9130 or visit their website at www.bhccenters.com. Brook County residents are still battling with the school board in an effort to keep their doors to all their elementary school open. Monday night's meeting was the last in a series before the final meeting at Jefferson Primary School next week where the board will decide to make their final decision. Another meeting was held Monday night in Brook County, 
all regarding the merger to potentially take seven Brook County Elementary Schools down to only four. The meeting Monday night was the final meeting before the official and final decision will be made. The Sankos were Red Devils traded in their red and gray for some red, white, and blue for the district's annual Veterans Day Assembly. Here's WSTC reporter Jessica Wagle with the covers. On November 10th, the St. Clairsville students ventured outside the classroom to learn more about just algebra and history. You know, we are here to be educated. This is an educational environment. Also related to education and learning, there's a famous quote in history, those people that forget the past are doomed to repeat the past. Learn from our mistakes. Learn from the past and these stories the veterans have told us and, and to value what we have here in the present. I think this assembly is important because it gives our students a chance to thank veterans on Veterans Day and we have such a great program here and we have a ton of speakers come in. It's really cool to hear their stories and everything that they've been through and it's special for me because my grandfather's served in the military and I'm lucky enough to have my grandfather here today and we get to spend a lot of time talking about what his experience was and it's really cool because you don't always talk about it so it's really nice. The St. E. Veterans Day Assembly included the Marine Corps cutting of the birthday cake, testimonials from veterans time in battles, and the St. Clairsville Band performing traditional songs. And this Veterans Day Assembly is very nice. I've been in the military during the Vietnam era and it seems like the last few years they're starting to honor the veterans more. Here at St. C, we want to thank the veterans for all they do. For WSTC News, this is Jessica Waggle. Early November marked the beginning of yet another season for the St. C. Singers Show Choir. The theme of this year's show is magic. Let's turn to WSTC reporter Isaiah Robinson for the story. Magic, that's the theme of this year's St. C. Singers Show Choir, led by about 13 seniors. Their first competition will be January the 13th in Piqua, and from what I hear, you won't want to miss it. Our concept's really good this year, and we have a lot of good singers, a lot of great dancing, the blocking's really nice, so I feel like it's going to be very well. How do you feel being this is your last year of singers? Uh, I feel like the year is going by pretty fast as being my last year of singers. Uh, I'm pretty sad that it'll be my last year doing it. How do you feel this year will be different than your past years? I feel like this year we're going to be a lot more smooth, have a lot more fun. Uh, the theme is very set up differently. It's going to be unique from everyone we did. Um, my favorite show we've done would be my sophomore year where we got grand champion. The singers practice every day after school 2.30 to 4.30. Practices consist of choreography, voice exercises, and show performance. What is the mood going into this year of Saints He Singers? Well, this year we have, um, I think there's a lot of push and momentum. We had a great year last year, and uh, we have a ton of seniors. We have upperclassmen leadership. We've got a ton of juniors. So we've really got a great group of leaders, and uh, I'm just really excited about the energy of the show and uh, what, we've, um, what we've been able to put together and the power that we're singing with and dancing with. I think it's going to be awesome. Could you explain the show to me? Sure. So this year's show is called Grand Illusion, and uh, it's a combination. You would think, well, it's a whole magic show. We do just a little bit of songs with magic, and we really tied in some illusions that uh, go with songs uh, not necessarily about magic. Like we do a song about disappear, but it's talking about disappearing as a person. We talk about the magic of love. It's talking about the love that we have to give other people within our hearts. Then we kind of go a little twist at the end with uh, paranormal, kind of the eerie, spooky kind. So we've developed this whole show. We plan on doing some great illusions, and so you're going to see things disappear before your very eyes. We hope to, uh, you'll see somebody levitated at the end. So we've got some cool ideas of some magic and illusions that we can do, and uh, we're hoping it's just a really fun show to watch. The Saints Singers will host their annual Showcase of Sound on February the 24th, 2018, marking the end of their performance schedule. Reporting for WSTC News, I'm Isaiah Robinson. Are you looking for some quick recipe ideas, perhaps a quick dish? We now take a small news break to showcase our very own cooking tips with Shakayla and Jessica.
Hey, what's up you guys? We're the WSDC News Chefs. I'm Shaquayla McCammick. And I'm Jessica Waggle. And are you tired of the same old pumpkin pie every year? Well, this is our rendition of pumpkin dip. First, what you're gonna do is take your pumpkin pie mix, 16 ounces of it, dump it into a large bowl. Hey, Shaquayla, you wanna know something? You, you wanna hear a funny joke? Yeah. Why'd the pumpkin cross the road? Why? Because he fell off the wagon. <laughs> so after you do that, you're gonna take five ounces of instant vanilla pudding mix and dump it in. You're gonna wanna fold this into your pumpkin mix. And then next you're gonna add two containers of Cool Whip which should be chilled. So then you're gonna wanna get some graham crackers and you can either use vanilla wafers, graham crackers, marshmallows, and you can freeze them too and it tastes just as good. WSTC will continue after this short commercial break. Stay tuned for all the action. WSTC Sports. Carry on, carry on. Let's carry on and take advantage of the opportunities offered at the Belmont and Harrison Career Centers and learn a trade while earning your high school diploma at the same time. Check out interesting and challenging programs right now. Business, skilled trades, technical, mechanical, or personal services. You'll find Belmont and Harrison Career Centers facilities and programs truly amazing. See your guidance counselor or call the Belmont and Harrison Career Centers today at 740-695-9130 or visit their website at www.bhccenters.com. Hello, and welcome to WSCC Sports. I'm Caden Run, And I'm Jessica Waggle. Let's now turn our attention to what's happening in the wide world of sports. Martin Truex Jr. completed his impressive 2017 season with a NASCAR championship after his victory at Sunday's Ford EcoBoost 400. Kyle Busch did everything he could to pass the number 78 car down the stretch, but Truex held on by less than a second in the final race of the Monster Energy Series season at Homestead Miami Speedway. Truex, who was only one of the championship four without a previous title, dominated throughout the year with seven victories and 19 stage wins to lead all drivers. He had one more first place finish Sunday to bring home a championship over fellow finalists Kyle Busch, Brad Kowalski, and Kevin Harvick. Winter sports are finally here, and you know what that means. Basketball. Here's WSTC Sports reporter Jordan Starkey with the boys basketball preview. Hi, I'm here on John Jenkins Court in St. Clairsville High School. The 2017-2018 boys varsity basketball team is getting ready to kick off their season. Varsity head coach Kim Clifford says that they have a great roster ahead and they're going to shoot for a great season. We're really optimistic. We have a good group of uh, guys that are working really, really hard and uh, that's just about all you can ask for, and I think they're, they have a, uh, an air of determination about them. It's bittersweet, but we have big plans this season, and uh, hopefully we can fulfill them. Uh, I'm not excited for it to be over, but it's been a fun ride, and hopefully my last year will be the best. Last year, the boys' varsity basketball team went 6-6, six and six, and this year's seniors hope to improve their record. Well, I was hurt last all last season, so I missed all last year, so it makes me... 10 times more excited to get back on the court, but I plan on not taking advantage of any of the time I get to be on the court and play and play with my teammates. And we have high hopes and we've been working hard, so we're just ready for the first game. This was a report from WSTC News. Back to you in the studio. Well, that's all the time we have for WSTC News. Thanks for watching. Stay classy and have a great week.
the teleprompter's not actually on on the cameras. Yep, gotcha. Uh, that's good. Hello and welcome to WST Series. S W S. Stuff yeah. from the top. From the top. <laughs> well, I always look good. Um, WST my last word, yeah, my last word will be sports, and then you do the rest. You can do that. Oh, yeah, that's good, guys. Skyler, can you roll it down a little bit? La 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 Good like this. That, that, look, that look happier. Turkey dinner, turkey dinner. Like gather round, gather round. 